So Kevin got his animal, now it's my turn to hunt. We're going out and it's just an opportunity hunt. Whatever walks out that's gonna, you know, either give us meat or just make a good hunt, that's what we're going for. It really was a beautiful morning. You know, we had one of those sunrises that was just beautiful to watch. We had cloud cover, we had the wind in our favor. We had a bunch of doe come out. We had one, one nice whitetail buck and we watched that buck for a long time and he was beautiful. I think he was still a little bit young to take. His G2 was broke anyway, but just watching those deer is a lot of fun. I mean, that's part of hunting is just getting out there and watching them and, and hoping that he comes out next year and he's bigger. We start kind of thinking about shooting a doe. We're starting to kind of mull it over in our head, you know, and all of a sudden everything kind of picks his head up again and looks to the left. I'm going, here comes a coyote or it's going to be a cow or something. Because when deer pick their head up and all look one direction and they're alert, generally not good. I look over and I can see this dark thing coming. So I really and truly thought it was like a calf or something coming through because there's cows on the property and it ended up being a psycho. So he comes in, we watch him for a little bit, and we decide that instead of a doe, we're gonna go for a psycho. I ain't gonna shoot him. I mean, I could. How oh, he's at if he comes in and shoot him. What well, does he want me to shoot him? He, he said, go ahead and shoot him. I pull the trigger on him and he jumps like I hit him good and then goes behind a bush and stops and just stands there. His back legs are buckling a little bit. You don't have a clean shot to that brush, do you? No, I don't. Let's see what he does. He doesn't want to go anywhere. Now I know I felt perfectly fine with my trigger pull. I know where I was when I pulled. So whenever he's standing behind this bush and not going down, I'm thinking something's wrong. It does finally dawn on me that I'm hunting with a projectile that shoots, it's going about 700 feet a second. I probably didn't range him right. He's in between bushes about that, that far. And he can turn around and walk straight away from me and I'm not gonna get another shot. He stops just before I can shoot his vitals. I could see his neck, but I couldn't see, see anything else. I tell Kevin whenever he takes another step, I'm gonna go ahead and shoot him again. He runs straight out into the field right in front of us. He probably goes 50, 60 yards before he just falls flat on his side. And it's just a lesson in learning about hunting with an air rifle. I got intense for a little bit. That was pretty fun. You know, I said we were coming out this morning for a meat hunt. Psychers are good meat and they've been racking up a a hefty bill on the feed bill so when he walked out i thought well that's a lot more meat so we'll take him <sighs> they don't get much credit down here in texas i mean they're they're a beautiful animal but since they don't grow a huge rack i don't think many people go after them but i'm excited to go down there and see what see what he looks like i'm glad we got him well, that was a good morning Oh, I didn't even notice, he's got the spots. See that? That's cool. Oh. Oh. Rolling in mud. That was a good morning. You know, you can tell that these things are dominant whenever it comes to anything because there's whitetail out here and they all looked up saw him come in i thought he was a cow when he was coming down the road just this dark animal coming in but see and look here's here's what happened the first shot i misranged him i'm using this thing it's shooting 
I think seven or 800 feet a second. I didn't take that into consideration. He's a little further than I zeroed in on. Hit here, the first shot. The second shot, I raised up on him and made a great shot. When you hunt with the new platform, you gotta, <laughs> you gotta learn all the ins and outs. And I made a small mistake this morning by not knowing my range perfectly. And luckily I got a second shot on him and it didn't take long, but God, that was a good morning.